She brought sequins to the office, pantsuits to the red carpet, and spent the price of a house on her teeth. Broke fashion school grad to real housewife, J. Crew icon Jenna Lyons is still making moves. My grandmother gave me a sewing machine and a subscription to Vogue. It opened up a whole new world. After realizing as a teenager that she wanted to go into fashion, Jenna Lyons enrolled at Parsons School of Design. It was there that she landed an internship with designer Donna Karen. On the Behind Her Empire podcast, Lyons explained, I didn't come from money. And you know, the reason I was able to go to Parsons, it was an incredibly expensive school, was because I was in a car accident and I got a settlement from the car accident. Lyons still got priced out of the industry she was hoping to break into. Even though her unpaid internship was at a respected design house, she said, Back then, this was 1990, a jacket back then was $2,200. That was an exorbitant amount of money at the time, and for me. I couldn't afford to wear any of the clothes. I couldn't afford to do the job. Just after graduating, Lyons found J. Crew. Jenna Lyons' first role at J. Crew was at the bottom of a long ladder of assistance. But she worked her way up and by 2010, she was the president and executive creative director. She told Fast Company of her dual role, What it says is that no financial decision weighs heavier than a creative decision. They are equal. I was more comfortable when I was surrounded by things that were visually pleasing. And it doesn't have to be neat. It's not about things being perfect. If anything, I think it's the other way around. Lyons quickly took J. Crew from a preppy mall brand to a respected name in the fashion industry. Michelle Obama wore J. Crew numerous times as the First Lady of the United States, and the attention she brought to the brand helped Lyons' own popularity skyrocket. During Barack Obama's 2013 inauguration, Michelle was rocking a J. Crew belt. Sasha and Malia wore J. Crew jackets to Obama's 2009 inauguration. Lyons told USA Today, It's an incredible part of American history, and to be a part of it is probably one of the most poignant honors I can imagine. After 20 years at J. Crew, the New York Times called Lyons the woman who dresses America. But after working at the brand for almost three decades, Lyons left in 2017, amid years of declining sales. Lyons isn't just a clothing designer, she's an interior designer too. Ironically, I got more attention for that than I did for my career in fashion. The brownstone that Lyons famously renovated did indeed bring her a flurry of press. And in 2008, Domino Magazine featured her home full of classic pieces alongside unexpected elements. She told the outlet, Everything is so predictable. We don't need to be so predictable. Instead, be inspired by something unique. The designer later flipped the brownstone she originally purchased for $1.4 million for the selling price of $4 million in 2012. In 2011, Lyons divorced her husband, Vincent Mazzo. At the same time, she began dating a friend named Courtney Crangy. One night, they got dinner together and word spread to the New York Post. Before she knew it, Lyons had confirmed the news to the Post. As she recounted in an essay for The Cut, the experience felt violating. She had yet to come out to anyone when the story ran. Lyons recalled on The View that the day the story dropped, she took a cab around Manhattan, buying every copy of the post she could find. I didn't expect anyone to care about what I was doing in my personal life, and all of a sudden, everyone cared. These days, Lyons is out on her own terms, telling The Cut, I do feel less responsibility to explain. I don't feel like it's my job to make it clear for anyone else what's going on with me sexually or romantically. Lyons is no stranger to wedding fashion. When she married Vincent Mazzo in 2002, she designed her own dress. She told New York Magazine that she designed her own dress because there weren't any boutique options that matched her vision. She shared, I wanted a triangle top with tiny straps and a full skirt, and there was nothing out there like that. More than a decade later, Lyons' fashion as a wedding guest made headlines. She attended the 2014 nuptials of Solange Knowles and Alan Ferguson, turning heads in a feathered ensemble. It was the same feathered skirt she wore to the Met Gala, but this time, she paired it with a top and coat that brought the whole look together. As she recalled to the cut, the t-shirt went on, the t-shirt did not work, the t-shirt came off, another shirt went on that didn't work, 
and then the other shirt that went on, and the coat went on. And then we went out the door. I'm shocked that that outfit got that much attention because it did not feel like I pulled it together very well. Due to a rare genetic condition that affects the skin and body functions, Jenna Lyons experienced dental challenges early on. She shared in an essay for Oprah Daily, I grew up with horrible teeth and horrible teasing. I didn't smile, ever, covered my mouth. I only had about 13 very small cone-shaped teeth and huge gaps in the rest of my mouth. As an adult, Lyons underwent extensive reconstructive surgery to prep for tooth implants. She recalled, My upper teeth were the most complicated because my upper jawbone had completely receded, especially on the left side. My nose was slowly collapsing because of the lack of bone. The necessary surgeries have taken longer and been more extensive than she initially prepared for. She added, I literally could have bought a house with what these teeth cost me, and I still have a way to go. In 2022, she shared on Instagram that her struggles with her teeth were finally nearing the end. In 2018, Lyons announced that she was developing a reality show about her life after leaving J. Crew. She told The Hollywood Reporter, I'm excited to be doing something totally different. I've realized it's okay to be a little scared to pivot, particularly in this day and age, where everyone is trying to picture everything so perfect. I have found a great level of comfort in being honest with the fear. After 27 years at J.Crew, I've learned a few tricks, so I want to be able to share them. The show materialized two years later as Stylish with Jenna Lyons on HBO Max. Lyons was in the early days of launching her own company, and the show revolved around her search for an assistant. As she told Vogue, I didn't want to fake it or create drama that isn't there, and I wanted to give people real challenges. If I'm going to hire someone, I want to see what they can actually do. Unfortunately, the show wasn't a hit, and it was canceled after just one season. Another of the side effects of Lyons' genetic condition was a lack of eyelashes. And she aimed to leverage her lifelong personal experience by launching an eyelash company called Love Scene. She told Harper's Bazaar, I am keenly aware of how transformative eyelashes can be and how they can impact how people see themselves and how others see them. I thought maybe this could be a sweet spot for me. For those of you who don't know, I wear glasses. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I don't have any eyelashes. The former J. Crew head's involvement in her beauty company led to a new venture into reality TV. She told the New York Times that bringing love scene to a wider audience was a major reason she planned to join the cast of Bravo's The Real Housewives of New York City. My lashes may be fake, but I definitely keep it real. At first, the idea of Jenna Lyons being a cast member on The Real Housewives of New York City was something of a joke. According to the New York Times, a fan photoshopped Lion's head onto a poster for the show, and the style icon shared it on Instagram. Bravo producer Andy Cohen replied, You know what? This is a good idea. Cohen told Today that he had several long conversations with Lions, adding, Jenna went in for the trust fall, and I'm so glad she did because she is a brilliant Real Housewife. <laughs> Season 14 of The Real Housewives of New York City premiered in July 2023 with Lyons as the most well-known member of a brand new cast. She discussed being an openly gay real housewife, saying that she often heard from young people whose parents were worried that being gay would limit their futures. She told The View she hopes to be an example of someone who succeeded. That, I think, gives a lot of parents who are scared a little bit more confidence. One notorious hallmark of the entire Real Housewives franchise is cast members' willingness to embarrass themselves in front of the cameras, often revealing their personal lives in excruciating detail. But Lyons has chosen to keep many personal details close to the chest. In an early episode from season 14, Lyons was asked by her fellow castmates whether she was dating anyone. She replied that she was indeed seeing someone, but she didn't want to say more. Because I've had so much press, like, I am very quiet about that, so I'm not sharing that. Later, she dished a little more on the issue, explaining that she was the one who chose a life in the public eye, not her partner. And if someone does not want to be in that with me, then I have to respect that. A few episodes later, however, Lyons confessed to the other Housewives cast members that she was going through a breakup. 
It seems that Lyons may have needed a little more time in order to warm up to the idea of putting her life out there for fans. In September 2023, after she posted a photo of her girlfriend, photographer Cass Bird, and herself clearly showing a ring on Lyons' finger, she finally fessed up to Andy Cohen. Well, kind of. You posted a picture and you had a ring. We're just really happy and she gave me the ring that I wanted.